Hello, today I would like to show you this quite interesting vintage military tech equipment. In my hands I've got a Generation Zero night vision scope. The model number is NSP2. This device was intended to be mounted on a rifle by using this mount and the other part that is on the weapon and it allow you to aim in a completely darkness. It has a polish markings on the enclosure, but I'm 99% sure that the design is from Russia. So I'm not sure if this is a licensing version made in Poland or it was a Russian build, but it was localized by putting a, a Polish markings. This is how it looks like. As you can see, this part is quite heavily standing out. This is the infrared reflector. Under that infrared filter, we've got a bulb. When it is operating, it's completely not visible to the naked eye, but it making a quite lot of infrared light. Here is access to the bulb, just in case you would like to see how it's connected. Here is a back part of the bulb mount. We've got the wires and it is a quite interesting design. So this is the consumable part. So if you cannot see anything, you might try to check the bulb. Here we've got the adjustment for calibrating up and left and right. This is used for the, for the aiming of the weapon. So you can put a correction. Under that screw is a device for removing the moisture. Here we've got the ocular cover. This is how looks the optics. I believe it can be used at the daytime and it has some sort of a shutter that you can use for limiting the amount of light. That whole part is a high voltage power supply. I'm not going to open it just because the device inside is filled with a black putty and you are not going to see any components. Most likely it's preventing from a high voltage, high voltage spike to the, to the enclosure. They fill it with a black gooey. And this is the part that we are looking, our EPs. That switch is turning on and off the infrared reflector. So if you've got another sources on of the infrared, you can turn it off to get a much, much, much longer battery run. And this is how it looks like. So here we've got a pretty beefy cable. And that beefy cable go into this device. This is not only a battery box. This is actually also a power supply. So we are connected with the night vision scope by using this three pin plug. I believe that was a three pin plug. You might notice that the cable is pretty beefy. And that's because it's carrying quite high voltage, around 400 volts. And this is not the tube voltage, because the 400 volts is going to be boosted here. So this is like a first stage. And this is the power switch for the battery box. So this is the where you start your night vision. When we open this device, we've got a battery holder. 
we put here uh, around 4.8 volts. This is where it was. It was using uh, wet cells. And we've got the battery hooks. In case your device is not working, you can check the basically the only consumable element except of the bulb, except of the cells. It is located here. This is a form of a neon lamp and it's used in the power converter. It is used on the on building the high voltage and when the high voltage is being reached it's going to be discharged. This is how it looks like. It is a polarity important and you've got a marking. So if you do not have a high voltage this is the, the first part to try to swap it out and the spare one should be in the set with your night vision scope. So that's what you can try to do if you run into any troubles. So that was a very quick look. This is how it presents. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you find that interesting. See you next time and bye bye.